Welcome to game seven of the 2024 Como Blitzball season. We have the one and O Ducks versus the one and O Mustangs. And starting off with the Ducks, they're coming off an impressive win against the Riptides and Colin Stone in his debut looked amazing. We, we knew he was a good pitcher, but the fact that it, his bat came out with the go ahead and grand slam was, was pretty impressive. This is a good team. But now their biggest test yet against the Mustangs who are 1-0. And one of the biggest storylines in this game is that you have the Blitzball Battle 3 and 4, MVP and champion on both sides of the ball. You have Colin Stone for the Ducks. Sammy Reeser for the Mustangs. This is going to be one heck of a game. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot from Colin recently. You know, he just took care of business in the warehouse, and he just took care of business of the Riptides right in front of my own eyes. So uh, to be saying that I was fully confident that I was going to go out there and hit that, that would be a lot if I told you that. So I'm not going to tell you that, but I am going to tell you. I've, I've done my fair share of hitting as well, so I'm excited to be able to get that matchup. Is there any difference that you're going to make with Sammy at the plate? I think he's got a lot more experience than I'm used to. Um, he sees this stuff all the time, so... Uh, I think I'm still going to be aggressive in the zone and try to get ahead early. Both these teams undefeated. One of them is going to go down here in game seven. Let's go down to the field. Colin Stone, the starting pitcher here for the Ducks. You're going to you're gonna have, to, you're gonna have to try to adjust because he was starting to land it last game. I'm going to make him start landing it first. He, yeah, he, which he will eventually. All right, I have no idea what this is about to look like, but I'm excited for it. Sammy Reeser, lead off batter for the Mustangs. What a matchup here. First pitch on the way, riser misses. Inside, and that'll be a leadoff walk. All right, hey, keep it moving, be patient, pick between those two pitches, pick between those two. If you're the Ducks though, you're okay with that because the ball's still in the park. Second up, Matthew's a party. Seasoned vet, isn't it? Riser screwball. And then you go up there and you're like, oh, riser screwball. Good looking matchup. And back to back walks to start this game, little uncharacteristic for Colin. Misses three straight walks to start this ball game. A nightmare scenario here for the Ducks early. Yeah, I mean, if I could pick somewhere to be, it would be right here with the bases loaded. Full count delivery. Here comes the pitch with the bases loaded just inside. A new rule in this year's season, a walk with the bases loaded. The next at bat turns into 75 mile an hour. Same will be seeing the ball really well. 75 miles an hour, he's first pitch riser. Big swing and a miss for strike number one. It looks so good for so long. One one. Big Eight, swing there, screwball. 74. Whiffs at it. I forget he pitched in the warehouse at 69. This is not a problem for him. Oh, and he got him. Swing and a miss, strike number three. Colin sits down the number one bat in all of blitz ball there and under 75 mile an hour, the base is loaded. Oh, I was not seeing that at all. Oh, I'm gonna heckle the heck out of you. I pulled this one out. You're just an old man. <laughs> oh. oh, slider there, lands it. Oh. That pitch wasn't invented when you were around, old man. Literally when the ball is coming, he's like I, talking. That's not true. I talk in between pitches. Cow. I don't know what he's talking. Old man is hard of hearing, I guess. My back swing. <laughs> All right. See, I'm talking right now. Second hit of the at-bat. That's going to bring in a run. And we have a 1-0 ball game in favor of the Mustangs. Not the way the Mustangs want to do it, but Matthew Zapati is happy about it. He will take it. Are you, team are you, team are you, game. Are you even happy about that? Hey, that's not how we won them, but that's how it came. I know if that was the other way around, you'd be crying right now. It's crying you want to right fight now. right now already? Yeah, Top of the it. first? Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> Are we done making out yet? Your captain's mad. Your captain's mad. You better listen to him or he's not going to let you play. It's not like I'm out there. <laughs> you better listen to your captain, buddy. Go sit down on the bench like your captain told you to. Oh, right there, though. Two strike delivery from Colin. Swing and a miss right at 80 miles an hour. Now two outs, and if Colin can get out of this, just allowing one run against this Mustangs lineup, that is impressive. Yes. And normally you don't see Sammy strike out twice with the bases loaded. All right, record would say that I don't see Colin very well. I do enjoy getting another at bat to redeem myself. Ground ball, right back to Colin. Tosses the first, gets the out, a clean play. Wow. And wow. out of that, I mean, bases loaded, no outs. If you're the Ducks, you gotta love that you got out of that, just allowing one run across the board against this Mustangs lineup. Going into the bottom of the first, Mustangs up 1-0. Oh, 
one run. That could be all we need for all we know. Sammy Reeser, the starting pitcher, and this is one of the storylines we haven't even mentioned yet. Tyler Davis was a two-year Mustang, and now he's the captain of a new team. The sure. first time in Kobe football. Tyler. Let's have some fun, yeah? Let's have fun. Yeah. Dinger. My teammate, the guy I drafted. And that will walk him. Lead off walk for the Ducks, just as the Ducks walked the Mustangs just last inning. All right, that was my warm up, AB. I'm dialed. Looks at strike number three for the first time of the inning. And tosses the bat. Wow. Let's, oh. get, a, let's get a stat cast on that. Yeah. What are you looking at? I didn't think I threw it. Quinn, you need to. Hey, I can't hear players who don't get at bats. I don't... You're muted to me right now. <laughs> And here's Colin Stone stepping in. First pitcher looks at slider up and in from Sammy wow. Reeser. Oh. <laughs> two sliders, oh. but from two different arm angles. Oh. Fouls it off, stays alive, does Colin. Got a piece. Colin staying alive and fighting with two strikes. Oh, good, good AB, good AB. In oh. the air, popped, Luke Bradley chasing it down, and it's a Play. fair ball. That <laughs> lands right next to third base, and Colin Stone wow. with a bat flip that reached the skies on that one. He oh. loves the fact he got a base hit and off Sammy. And here comes the slow-mo replay on the bat flip. Ooh. Back, 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 back. That was a crazy at bat. That was a wild AB. So much fun. Happy, joy, fun. That's what we love. But the Ducks got two runners on with their best hitter at the plate. All right, I need this strike out here pretty badly. Ground ball. Weak ground ball down the third baseline. Quinn is out at third base. The Josh, flip got have? him out. Quinn with a full-on slide in the third. You gotta love the effort there in the shorts. Good play over there from Sammy to flip it over to Luke Bradley for out number two. That really hurt. That would look pretty cool. Way to be there. Appreciate it. It looked like it wasn't worth it, Quinn. That was not worth it. It didn't look like it. Hey, we're just going for no runs. Ain't nobody gonna know how it happened. Quinn oh, Myers man. with a shot oh. into the gap. Colin Stone rounding third, the throw home. He's out, oh, what a play! Yeah. Luke Bradley oh, with one heck of a throw from left field darted to home plate, caught by Sammy Reeser and makes the tag before Colin Stone reaches home. Quinn Myers, what wow. a hit from him, wow. but an wow. even better play by the Mustangs to get the out. This game remains 1-0, headed into inning number two. Wow! So, are you serious? I'm sorry. I didn't. Mean, I didn't mean. I didn't mean to hit you that hard. You're good. My bad. I feel bad. I've just punched Colin in somewhere in the thigh area. That counts as a hit, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's about the team winning, though. And stats are pretty important. <laughs> All right. So they low. They low. They low, they low key shelled me. Now into the game for the Ducks. Tyler Davis against his former team. <laughs> Inside second hit of the at bat. Lead off walk. And he walks him back to back walks to start the inning. And Sammy was just taken all the way there. I Looks at know. ball number six. I mean, anyone else probably would. Tyler is struggling right now. The bases are loaded. If this continues, they're not going to win this ball game. They're just not. 50% Tyler, then the other 50% is when he does this. I'm sure you already know, but Tyler's feeling the fatigue, warm out here. Ground ball, down the third baseline, Tyler! He the play's it. made! He is out at home, the force out made. Tyler almost made a no-look play, a no-look toss, and Quinn was standing right in the middle of home plate, and the out is made. What a play for out number one. Outs are normally not that hard to get here and come up with ball, but the Ducks are making them pretty tough right now. I had to wear that too. That boom. Quinn, that was not intentional, just for the record. Hey, I'm pitching next inning. All I'm saying. As you can see by what I'm wearing, I'm not about to slide like Quinn did over here. Even if I did, I would have been out though, so. 
He's definitely got the confidence when he steps up to the plate. He's got two strikes on him against his former teammate, Tyler Davis. Big oh, swing there, and that will get him. Strike number three. Sammy Reiser once again has another opportunity with the bases loaded. Uh, we, got two, we got two outs. Uh, we just want any base. Just low. Walks him with the bases loaded. Now down to 75 mile an hour. And a strike. Oh! oh what a bender from Tyler Davis for strike number two. And it's the first time Sammy's seen Tyler like this in game. Full count. Full count once again. Tyler to Sammy. Got it! Oh, right at 75! What a clutch pitch there from Tyler Davis. And I just cannot believe it. These Ducks pitchers have loaded the bases both innings and combined allowed one single run. And the fact that the Mustangs have not been able to come through with the bats when it's needed is shocking to me. Was that a scoreless inning? Yeah. That's oh, one way yeah, to get some of yeah. Luke Bradley now into the game for the Mustangs, coming in to relieve Sammy Reiser and the Ducks, using their fourth guy on the roster, Dayton Toma, getting us that bat right here, right now. And that will walk him. Dayton Toma reaches first base. I'll find it. I'll find it. Full count. Got bottom part of the zone. Strike number three and the first out of the inning. Good pitch there from Luke Bradley. To get the swing. Up and down drop ball you have is perfect for him. He swings over it every time. Okay. Full count delivery. In the dirt, two runners now on for the Ducks. Two Ducks on the pond. There are now two Ducks on the pond. Nah, it is what it is. I didn't want to throw it over the middle to him, so. Waves at that one. Strike number three, a pretty non-competitive at bat there from Quinn. Ducks still have a chance, I mean, a base hit. Dayton Toma, I think, is reaching home. Swinging at. I know you ain't talking. I am. Can't hit them all, I guess. Two runners on, two outs. The full count delivery to Colin Stone outside. And that's huge because the bases are now loaded for the duck captain. Tyler Davis coming up to the plate. Tyler, I faced him once and he walked. There, I could come. Yes, sir. I'm all here. It's up to you. I got him to a full and then walked him. I didn't want anything close, but. The bases are loaded for Tyler Davis, and they're only down a run. First pitch just fouls that one off. A middle cut two-seamer. Good screwball there to get the chase. This could end the inning with a strike step out. Ball. I'm assuming you throw the grossest thing you possibly have in a 2-2 count. You can, you can, I, you I can, can have, have a waste slider. pitch here if you want. 3-2 yeah. delivery. Full count. Full count pitch. Luke Bradley to Tyler Davis. Got him to go. Oh, Sits go. down Tyler Davis. And the two best bats on both teams have both been sat down with the bases loaded now. 1-0 ball game. It remains. Throw the bus. Throw the bus. Hit and throw strike. And these teams just cannot get hits together when it matters most. Luke Bradley to Tyler Davis. Got him to go. Colin Stone back in for the Ducks here in the third. Trying to be a strike thrower. I mean, that's the goal for the Ducks. They've loaded the bases both innings. In the air, oh, going! Matthew party Gone! His first home run of 2024 comes off of Colin Stone, and that one is a solo shot. That will put the Mustangs now up 2-0 and give them a little bit of extra breathing room going in that bottom of the third where they're gonna have to close it out. And I think that was just a case of sticking with the same pitch. I mean, no risers were thrown that at bat. It was a screwball every single time. And uh, against an experienced guy like Madison Party, he's been in the league for forever. Against a guy like that, you throw the same pitch over and over again, he will find a way to put it out. And that's what he did. 2-0, Mustang. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Up. Ah. Woo! Got him to chase at the screwball. Out number one because the bases have been loaded every time and then we just don't score. And at the minimum, you at least gotta love that he's throwing strikes. He let up a homer, but uh, better than walks. throwing strikes. Two hits in the at-bat and Sammy Reeser will find himself on first base. 
Oh, dude, I forgot I was mic'd up for that homer. Didn't act that cool. I know, but I didn't say anything. I didn't know I was mic'd up. I just said, woo! Woo! Met this party stepping in after launching a home run. Looks at strike one, a slider. Colin mixing up early against him. Oh, just missed this. Oh. Swing and a miss on the screwball. Strike number two to him. Yeah. Got him frozen on the screwball. Last at bat hit a homer off that. This at bat looks at it for strike number three. And now we got two outs in the top of the third. I couldn't swing at that. Nice pitch. One hit wonder. Slider. Yeah. Disgusting pitch from Colin Stone. The Ducks are down by two runs, head into the bottom of the third, where this is going to be their final chance at it. Flipping a blast. Let's go. Flipping a blast. I know you still have it, old man. I respect that. Oh, thanks. All oh, the old ladies are going to love that I diet. Know, right? Bingo night. He's going to be a celebrity. <laughs> you get the first out, it's huge. I go straight at one. Sammy Reeser now in to close out the ball game. Has a two run cushion to do it. Let's we'll see if the Ducks can create some magic late, just as they did in their last game. For Quinn, I can just sit here and watch. And that'll walk him. That's something you definitely don't want to do. You do yeah. not want to put the first runner on, and especially when it's... When it's Quinn Myers. When it's Quinn Myers, yes. Yeah. And got the chase for strike number three. Sits down Colin Stone to start the inning. Nice. Big. Let's pitch around Tyler. <laughs> turtle. Turtle! Turtle! It's a turtle! It's a turtle! Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Say hi to Larry. He's our turtle. We found a turtle. Hey, that's our relief pitcher right there. Oh, <laughs> holy <laughs> sword from Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Oh, wow. A little baby check swing there. And got another swing. Tyler is not happy at himself. How do you notice that? And the delivery curveball! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's Sits oh. down his former teammate on three pitches, goes slider, screwball, curveball. Filthy. Wow. I guess they're best hitter. Not one pitch wasted. Three right in a row to sit down the opposing team's best player and his former teammate. Oh. Yeah, what the what did Sammy what say did he was gonna, was gonna do? do? He did just that, and that's when you need to buy his jersey, come up with ball.com. And now it's down to Quinn Myers. <laughs> there is no shot that Quinn is getting a hit here. Oh, oh my goodness. Quinn will not be touching this. No shot. Two off speeds for two strikes, and the Mustangs are one away. Sammy at this point is almost unhittable. Quinn, what's going on? Talking crazy before those two strikes. Here we go. Two strikes. The delivery from Sammy. Here we go. A full count delivery. The full count pitch, Sammy to Quinn. In the dirt, misses. And that's gonna have two runners on now, and Colin Stone could walk this thing off. Oh, oh my god. After hitting the grand slam to go ahead in the last game, this could be storybook kind of stuff if he could poke one over. Hey, I just wanna say I haven't seen the ball well today. Results will come. Probably against the crushers, unfortunately. Best against the best. Sammy Reeser, Colin Stone. First pitch, ball one. Sammy starting him out with a slider. That one hits him up and in. We're gonna show you guys the full at bat for this one. Two and zero to start the count. And there's a strike. Colin looks at it right down the pipe. Fastball for strike number one. 81. Three and one the count. Colin ahead here, three one. In, In the, the air. air, popped. Matthews a party, gone oh, at the fence. That's gonna end the ball game. And the Mustang defense comes up so clutch in that game. Luke Bradley with a throw home to get the tag and then to end the game right there, right at the warning track. Matthew moving back, makes that catch 
and that will end that thriller of a game. I know Colin wanted that to sneak over, throws the bat in frustration after the fact, but wow, the Ducks are right in that one. I would say about 10 feet from winning that game with Colin Stone. The Mustangs improved to 2-0 and, and are up with the Redbirds at the top of the standings while the Ducks move down to 1-1 one and one on the year. Ball's a play. That's it. We just got unlucky. Dude, 10 more feet and that's a walk-off. We, we got unlucky. I mean, they're really good. Zero or anything? How many did they score? I think that's probably the I'm worst, asking, I've, worst I've ever pitched in zero. Asking for a friend. How many did they score? Gino? Gino? I think it was zero. I got I to lock in. Hey, I'm way, way too long, but I'll see more pitches. Hey, this was hey. I, like, I like what happened today. Yeah. I'm actually, I really like this team, boys. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we have throws like guys from Luke Bradley. We have catches from guys like Matthews Party. When I can't get the strikeout, we get the out in the field. So much fun. Mustangs are like, they always, they, the only time they lose is when games that matter. They only lose games that matter. They just peaked on teams of one and two. Mustangs just yap until the postseason when they get really quiet and lose. So we'll get them in the playoffs. We'll see you guys in game eight. And Hudson, I'm playing a game eight. That will be your rip tides be me. versus the Mustangs. We'll see you guys in the next video. And my shell toes, yeah, glow. Yo, I like hella dramatically ran into that fence. I know you caught it. <laughs>